hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all um first i want to say happy monday i hope everybody had a great day and y'all please 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 stay safe out here because it's a lot going on okay i promise you it is um y'all one of my um subscribers they left a comment in the comment section and they said check out this new tv series that's coming out swarm swarm okay y'all and in this tv series i've been doing a little homework on it and i ran some numbers on it y'all and y'all not gonna believe the things that i found on this stuff okay um they got plans y'all they got really big plans for um this year of skull and bones and this this little tv series that's coming out is um is satanic um it symbolizes beyonce y'all this is what they're saying that this tv series is about beyonce and her fans the beehives y'all y'all be careful watching this mess okay be careful watching it all right y'all um the name of the um tv series is swarm and um it's going to be on prime video y'all okay and it's so much stuff coming up that i had to make this into um more than one video y'all i had to put this into more than one video this is just how much stuff is popping up on the things that i found y'all and i'm gonna tell y'all this you know i did that video back here when um you know that halloween crowd surge happened in um korea and y'all this movie is connected to that this movie is connected to what happened over there on october the 29th y'all i promise y'all and i'm gonna show every receipt that i have okay y'all um, this movie is about, you know, this female right here, and it's no coincidence that she is the crazed fan that is going to, like, go off in the picture. She is somebody that's, you know, um, a fan of, you know, basically somebody named Naja, okay? Naja is, um, playing Beyonce. You know, she's really playing Beyonce. Okay, y'all. And um, she is this, you know, um, pop star. And Drea, or Dre, or something like that, her name, this one right here. She's, pay she's playing the fan that is obsessed with Beyonce. Okay, Naja. Okay, y'all. And she's going to pretty much lose her mind because she's going to be listening to to this music that um naja is putting out and naja by the way y'all this music that she's putting out is um it's rituals it's rituals that she's doing when she goes to these concerts and everything that is on this tv series and it's a tv series y'all it's not a movie at first i thought it was a movie but it is a series they want people to continue to watch this mess okay and, and I'm going to tell y'all this. Y'all know how they have so many movies that come out at the show. And we have, like, people that, you know, got some screws missing that try to copy off of that. Um, I do believe this is what their plans are for this. Okay? They want people to copy off of what's going on in this movie. And this is why they put this movie, you know, um, this little series out. Okay? Um, for the people that's talking about Beyonce and stuff like that. Um, this fan right here. This person that's playing Naja, she is going to lose a man, and she's first she's going to become one of the beehives, y'all, and she's going to lose a man listening to this music, 
and she is going to just snap in the series. She's going to snap and she's going to be taking out anybody that talks about um, Naja, which is allegedly Beyonce. Okay. So she's a crazed fan that's going to go crazy. And anybody that says anything bad about her pop star, she's going to be taking them out. This is what this is about. Okay, y'all. Basically, it's a purge, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Don't be surprised, you know, this Halloween that you, you see a lot of beehives out, you know, bees outfits and stuff like that for Halloween because they are working on, you know, that okay this is some kind of like horror show that um yeah it got a lot of subliminal messages to it y'all and everything that she did in this this series it has meaning everything that's connected to it has meaning and i'm gonna tell y'all this this is also connected to what happened over there in korea in seoul okay y'all it's all connected everything that's about this picture and everything is connected y'all okay now, this female right here, her real name is Dominique Fishback. And um, it's the reason that she was chosen to play this part. And I'm going to tell y'all why she was chosen to play this part. I don't know if y'all can see it. Because if I um, go in a little bit, y'all, it might get blurry. But um, the reason why she was chosen to play this part is because she was born. Her birthday is March 22nd, y'all. Her birthday is March 22nd, okay? 1991. This is her birthday, okay, y'all? Um, This is going to get deep, y'all. Um, When I say I went down a rabbit hole, I went down a rabbit hole on this one, y'all. And you all are not going to believe the things that I found, okay? You're not going to even be able to believe it. I promise y'all, y'all not. This whole thing is weird, weird, y'all. When I say weird to the 25th power, um, Beyonce and them is, to me, and, you know, I'm just, this is my personal opinion, but they're sick, y'all. They are truly sick. They picked this female. And, and Mandra, she was born in New York. She's from New York. So she's from the same place where I believe Jay-Z was born at. He was born in New York. And her birthday, like I said, is 3-22. March 22nd is her birthday. So she is carrying out this whole 223 thing, okay? Her birthday is March 22nd, y'all. Okay, this is why she was chosen. And not only, you know, she's chosen for that, but, you know, she plays in a cult show on one of Tyler Perry pictures. I think it's Ruthless or something like that. It's a cult picture. And um, she plays in that as well, y'all, Okay. She plays a lot of dark stuff. Okay, y'all? It's a reason why they chose her. All right? So, she's here to help carry out this whole 322 ritual that's taking place before our eyes, y'all. Okay? Um, y'all remember when I did the video on Beyonce and um, the connections with what happened over there in Seoul? And, y'all, I did not know. I had to go start doing some digging. But I did not know that Beyonce had so much pull over there in Seoul, okay? Um, and, y'all, I'm going to talk about that part in part two. How much, you know, um, she has a lot going on over there in Seoul, y'all. So, um, let's get to it, y'all, because this is very interesting. Very interesting. And I'm going to do numbers on everything that I see about this show, Everything, the, the running scared tour, um, two, I'm going to put all of this in numerology and I want to run it all. Okay. I have to. So this is her playing this person that's obsessed with Nigel. Okay. And everything has meaning behind it. Y'all, when I tell y'all everything, everything has meaning behind this whole thing. Okay. So, um, this is the swarm. Um, Naja's biggest fan site. So she joins the fan site. So she, this is basically before she start, you know, becoming who she becomes in this picture. Okay. She's, you know, going through the process now. She's a fan. And now she's, you know, um, joining the fan site. And she eventually is going to, um, she's eventually going to become one of the behalves, y'all. Okay. Um, this is so demonic. It don't make sense. 
And y'all be care. I told y'all be careful what y'all listening to, and be careful what um you're watching. Okay, be careful. All right. I like pictures, you know, horror pictures and stuff like that too. But when you are dealing with someone that um is well into occult symbolism and all this stuff, you have to be careful about certain things. This is why you know when you go to some um places of religion, they push as an issue of being careful what you watch and all this stuff, you know, okay? You have to. So this is the swarm, and they're posting our, their queen, because she ain't mad. Their queen serving swarm, okay? So she is um, on the stage, and she is doing rituals, y'all. And her music is possessing people to make them snap and go at people that um, say anything bad about her, okay? So it's a lot of, you know, symbolism in this picture. Um, sun worship, the beehive, all this stuff. And as you could look at this beehive, how it's hanging on this um, tree, it looks like, you know, the devil with the horns on the side. It looks like, you know, it's shaped like that, y'all. It's a lot of demonic symbolism in this picture that is about to start you know um march 17th it's coming out march 17th and like i said she is um the fan that's crazed in taking people out and when she takes people out she listens to music and she dances and you know on top of you know while she's cleaning up the blood and all this stuff she's dancing she is possessed she is possessed y'all seriously and as you can see, she got the honey on her, you know, her little outfit. You say honey on there and all that stuff. Everything is symbolic. What's going on right now? Everything in this picture is symbolic. And I was wondering what was going on with Beyonce because she said that she had a three-part album coming out, but she only came out with one. But, you know, she's really busy in trying to get at these youngins, y'all, okay? She's really trying to get at people's soul, okay? She's working overtime this year. And they had to bring her out this year because this is the year of skull and bones. This is Satan's year, y'all. Okay? But um, God is letting, you know, folks know that he's still here. Okay? Um, when I put the video out the other day about the parade or whatever that was, carnival or whatever that happened over there in Brazil, y'all, right after that stuff happened, y'all... Um, God came and he, he showed up and showed out. Okay, y'all. They have some serious flooding going on. People are passing away over there. So much stuff is going on over there right now. And I do believe it has a lot to do with them celebrating Satan over there in that big parade, y'all. Okay. So don't be, um, you know, don't get downhearted and think that, you know, we're out here on our own because we're not, okay? He's letting you know he's right here, okay? Um, they having some serious problems over there in Brazil after they did this whole little satanic ritual parade, okay, y'all? It's going down in the spiritual world right now. As we speak, it's going down, y'all, okay? So this is her. Back to this. She's dancing and cleaning up, you know, the mess that she made after she done took somebody out, y'all. Okay? This is what she's doing in the picture. Um, y'all, they are truly, truly, truly working on these youngins out here. And not just them. They're working on people that sleep, that don't see this as um, satanic. They see this as, she, you know, Beyonce is the biggest something out here. This is what they're looking at. But they are not looking at behind the scenes, y'all. They're not, you know, really digging deep as to the meaning of everything that she does. They're not doing it. And they don't care. Even if you tell them, they don't want to hear it. Okay, y'all? Um, even they have, you know, one of, um, they got, you know, people that is signed to Beyonce is on this show. Chloe Bailey is playing Drea's sister, okay? And Drea is um, the one that becomes obsessed, okay, y'all? This picture is so demonic, it don't make sense. 
So y'all get ready. Get ready for the bull crap. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to the date. The date that this picture comes out is March 17th. And even the date equals 222, okay? Because if you take March, which is 3, and then 17, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then 4 plus 7 is 11. And if you put that 1 plus 1 together, it is 2, okay? And it's the year of 23. So 223 is even in the date that this show comes out, y'all, okay? Um, so don't be surprised if somebody passes away on the date that this comes out. Okay, y'all? Um, I do believe that they want to, this movie, this little series, and this is my personal opinion, is for um, the beehives. And basically the beehives ain't nothing but demons, y'all. All these people that's following Beyonce are nothing but demons. And it's the reason why Beyonce opened up that church. That church is not to serve nobody. That church is to serve Beyonce. Okay, y'all? These people are brainwashed over um, Beyonce, y'all. And they want these people to go at people that talks about Beyonce. This is what I'm getting from this movie. This this little um, series that's coming out. That, you know, she say if you speak on Naja, then, you know, they're going to get taken out. So this is what this is saying. It, you know, it's to push fear. That anybody that's talking about Beyonce, you know, her behalves is going to come for them. Okay, y'all? This is what this they are pushing. Okay, y'all? This is weird. And don't be surprised if something happens to this female that's playing this role of this crazed person. Okay? Because she's demonic in so, on so many levels. Okay? Um, her birthday, the day this picture is coming out, the reason why she was chosen... Um, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot when it comes down to this whole show that's coming out, y'all. So be careful, okay? Um, swarm, if you put that in numerology, 444 pops up. And y'all know how important that number is to Beyonce and Jay-Z, okay? 444 is all over. You know, they got albums called 444 and 44. It was born on the fours. Um, they got married on the floor. So this is very important to them. It's a reason why they named this show Swarm. Okay, y'all? Um, even in Latin, the 1101, so you take out the zero, and it, it symbolizes, um, you know, sacrifice. 111 is already on it, y'all. This is deep, y'all. Okay? And remember I was telling y'all that Beyonce is trying to usher in you know, um, she thinks that she can, she, that she has the power to usher in, you know, when, um, you know, Jesus is coming back. I don't know what's wrong with this chick. Seriously, y'all. But she is so demonic. And this could be a partial reason why her and her sister don't get along. This could be a reason why that her sister jumped on, you know, um, put paws on Jay-Z in that elevator. Because, you know, she totally, you know, he totally took Beyonce to the dark side. Okay, y'all? totally and she has no kind of morals whatsoever she is totally taken in beyonce is no more you are talking about um demons right now that's controlling beyonce she don't there's i don't think beyonce exists anymore y'all to be honest okay and remember i was telling y'all that don't be surprised about the second album that she's you know this is a three-part album so don't be surprised on the second and the third part having something to do with the um the seven seals and all this stuff remember i was telling y'all this and remember i was telling y'all about the line of judah and all this stuff this is why you know at the award shows and stuff like that people have those lion heads and all that stuff remember i was telling y'all um this is a part of this mess too okay and this came up in the numerology as you can see one 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 and the 42 and not the 42 the 145 and then on the other side horns popped up so y'all know who got the horns allegedly okay satan okay so that popped up under swarm um then i put in swarm series because it's a series and when i put that in y'all see the infinity links popped up 888 popped up right away and not only did infinity links pop up but 317 popped up um, 137 in Kabbalah and this is the date that this is supposed to be released okay y'all everything 
is how she wanted to be lined up okay um this is a test popped up and when that popped up the first thing came to my mind is they testing to see if they're gonna have uh, people that follow beyonce that's really going to be out here you know um doing this demonic stuff that they're going to be showing in the series they tr this is a test um this another thing that popped up power couple popped up and everybody calls her and jay-z this power couple okay so that popped up as well so everything that's surrounding this is demonic y'all so demonic on so many levels it is um eye of saturn eye of saturn pops up okay under swarm series and queen street popped up and i was like you know she thinks she's the queen she always talk about bow down to her like she's something special who is she that somebody gonna bow down to y'all okay this chick is way out on a limb okay and the people that follow her they are on a limb too okay um 38 popped up and y'all know what that n number 38 means it got a lot of dark meaning behind the um number 38 and 38 popped up under swarm um swarm series so if you don't know what the number 38 means um 38 comes up in murder by numbers okay um lucifer comes up under 38 um lilith pops up under 38 murder holy ghost energy school remember what i was telling y'all about stuff that's going on at the schools right now they got the kids learning about satan in the schools um, they're trying to do it in all the schools, but now they're just testing it out in certain places, okay? Um, school, remember I told y'all I was playing Ouija boards up there and everything, and the kids was passing out? Yes, all of this is popping up under um, Swarm. Um, Marked popped up, Traitor pops up, Kabbalah pops up, the N-word pops up, Taking People Out pops up. 33 pops up and y'all already know what the 33 means that's masonic mess um people's demise is popping up okay under 38 y'all this is crazy okay now another thing that popped up under um and it came up under the 1380 number under swarm series is black panther 2 and y'all remember when i was telling y'all about black panther that that you know it's something to brewing around the whole black panther stuff but this popped up, and um, y'all remember Black Panther came out on November the 11th, okay? So, um, that's the sacrificial day, 11-11. You know, that's the day that we lost Mo3, okay? So, um, yeah, this is deep, y'all, this new show that's coming out. Be careful, all right? Um, I put in Swarm TV series, and when I put that in, as y'all can see, that M88s pop up again, um, cause I, at first I just had swarm series, then I put in a swarm TV series. Okay. And, um, there's them infinity links popping up y'all. Okay. Everything that's going on right now is attached to other people. And believe it or not, I keep telling y'all, it's a lot of these labels are affiliated with each other. It's not no coincidence that, um, you know, people from Korea or something like that just bought out, um, quality control y'all. Okay, this is a whole circle of business people that's working together, okay, to, you know, cover up crimes and everything else, all right? Um, when I put in Swarm TV series, Rose Cross Order popped up, and Rose Cross Order is some serious business, y'all, okay? Um, if you break Rose Cross Order down, um, if you think about Rose, the Rose, the whole Rose Thing. And I'm going to tell y'all what that represents in a minute, okay? Um, the, another thing that popped up was the two towers that popped up under Rose Cross Order as well, okay? Um, Rose Cross Order has a lot to do with um, rituals because, they, you know, this is a actual a ritual, the Rose Cross ritual. They do that. And I'm going to tell you what this means, y'all, okay? Now... In Greek mythology, this is in my area right here. Now, in Greek mythology, the rose um, is a representation of, you know, like an idol or something like that for the god of Horus. Okay, y'all? Um, Aphrodite, who is the goddess of love and beauty, okay? Um, she gave her son this, this, like, idol, this little item thing that has the rose on it, okay? 
and her son gave it to the god of silence so which takes you back to um this masonic mess and eastern star mess about um the vow silence okay um the reason why aphrodite's son gave you know this rose cross to um you know this red rose okay symbolism um they gave it to the god of silence because he didn't want his mama business out in the streets okay y'all aphrodite was out here doing some stuff that he didn't want out so this is why he gave it to him the god of silence and this is where a lot of this coming from about you know vow of silence and all of this stuff y'all it is a lot of symbolism going on y'all it's crazy and another thing i want y'all to you know make sure you understand that this red rose symbolizes bloodshed okay and it also symbols um bloodshed shed by workers and when it say bloodshed by workers i want y'all to think about the the behalf okay the behalf is allegedly you know her workers her minions okay and you know they, she, she pretty much showing y'all she has the power y'all to do some things that you know and cause some havoc so when she came call herself riding in on those horses y'all and you know riding in on the pale horses and all the stuff she was coming in she was bringing in death this is what she was speaking of y'all this is what she thought she was speaking of okay um everything that they are doing with that has anything to do with beyonce it is well calculated y'all I told y'all they go they they are advised through spiritual advisors of which way to go and how to get at people and to keep you know um a lot of people's waking up but the people that's not waking up and the people that is so fanned out over her um this is how they they keep control over them okay um she is a very high up there um eastern star she's very high up in ranks okay and this red rose um order secret society you know um confidentiality mess um she's well deep into it and it, all of it connects and it has some serious meaning to it y'all okay um y'all just don't even understand what's going on with beyonce right now and, you know, her mother and everybody around her think that, you know, she's rich and what she's doing is working for her because Hunt and, Beyonce, you know, Jay-Z is top of the line. But, you know, Beyonce is, um, she, she's on her way to hell, basically, y'all. If she don't do a, a serious turn, and I don't see how it's possible, but, um, because I don't see her doing it, um, she is going straight to hell and everybody that follows her is going with her okay y'all um beyonce is sick in jay-z y'all okay and um the rose occult symbolism um this is what she's copying off of when she's doing um you know got all these hands hanging out on the side and this and that and, that and this and she got these people at the bottom this is what they're trying to um you know copy off of this rope, the rose occult symbolism, y'all. And, you know, it's a lot of um, spells and all this kind of stuff that is attached to this whole, the rose symbolism and occultism, y'all. Okay. Now, Nigel, let's get into this name, Nigel, because she named the, the pop star on her TV series, Nigel. And... If you go to, um, you Google this, the name Nigel in the Middle East, Arabic origin, means a beautiful rose, okay? So, everything that she has done as far as the show is um, symbolic. Everything is symbolic, y'all, okay? The American Beauty Rose in Full Bloom, this as a representation or symbol of the soul, y'all, okay? That has reached full illumination, all right, y'all. So everything that she's doing right now and rituals is to, you know, get you, get to your soul, y'all. Okay. Now another thing, I put Nigel in. As soon as I put Nigel in, so she's supposed to be portraying Beyonce, y'all. Okay. Um, it comes up alias. So Nigel is an alias for Beyonce. 
Okay, y'all see it over here to the side. I hope y'all can see it. Let me make sure. Okay, to the left. That's the word that's to the left. Alias. That pops up. Another thing that pops up is B. Okay, I'm not going to say the word, but this cuss word, B. B-I-T, y'all know the rest. That pops up, okay? Um, under Nigel. Now, Nigel's real name, okay? The person that's playing Nigel, her real name is Nyreen S. Brown, okay? And as you can see, the 44 pops up again. The 44 pops up. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Um, to the to the left is Ghost Town. So this is what Beyonce wants. She wants to bring in a lot of people's demise, y'all. This is why she's called herself riding in on the horses of death. Okay, y'all. Um, another thing that popped up under Nyreen S. Brown is synchronized devil worship okay that pops up under this person name who is playing beyonce okay y'all let's keep going now nyreen s brown also what pops up under her name is soul knights okay now if you don't know who soul knights is i'm gonna tell you who they are y'all and i can't blow it up too much more but i'm gonna tell you who they are soul knights is a basketball club okay this is a basketball team in seoul south korea y'all um do y'all see how things are connecting this is coming up under the same numbers and look how many numbers popped up under so nice that's matching with the person that's playing beyonce real name okay one two three four five six seven numbers is matching her name over here okay so um a lot of stuff was popping up, matching the same thing with what happened over there with Seoul, you know, South Korea. Okay, y'all? And I had no idea that um, Beyonce was so close and had so much business and everything going on over there in Seoul. So it makes sense now as to why that when all of those people was taken out over there, um, you remember they was covered up? And, you know, um, those those gold, the yellow um, coverings, and it had bumblebees on it. Um, y'all, this was pu for publicity for Jack Daniels whiskey, y'all, okay? We're going to get into that in the next video, okay, y'all? Um, it's a lot going on, y'all. I have awoken, y'all. <laughs> and a lot of stuff is being presented to me right now, Okay. Um, under Nyreen S. Brown, murder ritual is popping up under that as well. Okay, y'all? Um, I took out the S and I put in Nyreen Brown to see what popped up. And, of course, the 6-6 six, six popped up and the 6-9 popped up over there. Um, <clears throat> I am the storm popped up. Remember when I told y'all when I was doing Mo3 case and all this stuff? We have to watch out for, you know, anything they got to do with, like, storms, tempests, stuff like that. I am the storm popped up under her name after I took the S out. Queen Mother popped up. Now, who calls themselves the Queen Bee, y'all? Beyonce. So, is a reason why they chose this female, um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, <coughs> losing my voice. <laughs> Give me a second, y'all. I'm just getting started. It's a reason why they chose the people that they put even in the show. Because this is what's lining up under her name. Nyreen, or whatever how you pronounce it. Um, Brown. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Queen Mother popped up. And who thinks they's the Queen Bee? Beyonce, right, y'all? So, it's the reason why she's playing Beyonce in this picture, okay? Um, Nyreen Brown, guess what else pops up? All Souls Day. I told y'all, this is a battle for people's soul. They want people to come to the dark side. And, you know, Satan got a short period of time. And he is, um, he is busy, busy, busy y'all okay um ritualistic popped up under her name as well 
and y'all see the numbers that's popping up i hope y'all can see it good y'all might have to like screenshot it and blow it up but i'm just showing y'all what was popping up this is weird now another thing popped up remember i was telling y'all about prince soon as prince um you know signed with jay-z this little deal for a couple months you know and he they you know jay-z ended up fighting his family and all this stuff and i told y'all this was around you know things that happened you know um Prince's girlfriend at the time, she was working for Jay-Z and all this stuff that she could have been a plant. Remember I told y'all this? Um, look what's popping up. Purple Rain popped up. Okay? And we also know that purple also symbolizes sacrifices. Okay? This is popping up under the person's name who is playing Beyonce, y'all. So, like I said, don't be surprised this Halloween that, you know, these type of, you know, costumes is going to be going off the shelf. Okay, because um, this is what this series is. They're trying to push this series out on people so that, you know, people that's crazy, aren't they mad over Beyonce, can get in their mind that if anybody talks about Beyonce, we're going after them. Okay, this is what she's trying to do. She's sending out her minions and giving them ideas to try to take people out that um, speaks against her. Okay, y'all. So I just want y'all to pay attention to what's going on. Her and Jay-Z is out on a limb right now. And just like y'all saw what happened in Brazil over there. And, um, you know, God had to step in and let them know y'all ain't running stuff. But, you know, let me show 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 y'all a little something, something real quick. Um, I do believe that, you know, they might have to get stopped the same way. Okay? Because it seems like the government is going to keep on letting. And, you know, um, judicial system is going to keep letting these people get away with a lot of crimes that they're doing. Look what happened to take off. That's so sad. And, you know, they're trying to brush it under the rug as, you know, you see how Jay Prince is out relaxing, you know, about a pool. They are not thinking that this is going to come back and nip them in the butt. But um, God says different, y'all. But anyway, this is part one, y'all. I'll be back with part two, okay? This is going to get truly deep, y'all, okay? This rabbit hole that I went down is truly deep, okay? So get ready for part two. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.